Hello YouTube! Today in the Naughty Librarian we are going through the smutty spectrum. Hey Amanda, what do you mean by the smutty spectrum? I'll explain. By smutty spectrum, I want to go over some book recommendations that go through a whole spectrum of smut. So I have light smutty books, medium smutty books, and very smutty books. Because sometimes people are into different levels, so I just want to give some recommendations of different levels. Like for me, I like a good smutty book. But maybe other people are just looking for something that's lightly smutty, you know, just a touch of smut. So let's get into some like smutty spectrum recommendations. Let's start things off with the lightly smutty books. Let's start this off with Forbidden by Beverly Jenkins. Really, there's a lot of options from Beverly Jenkins because I feel like her books are in general kind of lightly smutty, but this one in particular, very lightly smutty. This is historical romance, but it's more, I would say, you could classify a historical fiction with like a dash of romance in there because this is about a guy named Ryan and a girl named Edie. And Ryan is a man who is passing, i.e. he is a black man who passes for white. So that affords him lots of different opportunities. But one of the opportunities he doesn't have is the ability to be able to freely court Edie because she is not passing. She is obviously a black woman. So it comes down to is he going to reveal himself and lose those privileges so he can be with Edie or is he not going to? I mean, spoiler alert, he does. <laughs> but I will say, this cover is very suggestive, but they like never really do it on page. Like seriously, like you get to the end of the book and they're like, well, we did it. And I was like, no, you didn't, I didn't see it. <laughs> but I mean, it's perfect if you're into a lightly smutty book because there are steamy bits in this, but definitely no real smutty delights. So. Perfect if you like a good historical fiction book, if you want less like fun character drama, if you want something to just like a dash of smut, this is it. This is perfect for you. Another lightly smutty book is A Duke by the Fault by Alyssa Cole. This one's definitely a slow burn romance. So, I mean, the characters don't really even do anything physical until at least halfway through the book. Probably 60%, I say, through the book. They just start making out. So, um... Definitely a slow burn. And yes, there are like, you know, explicit scenes, but not very many. There's kind of not the point of the book. It's more about like character development and character growth. It's about Portia and Tavish. Portia is a woman coming from America who has ADD. So she has a lot of problems like getting organized and like having her life not be chaos. And she takes this internship where she's learning sword making in uh, Scotland from Tavish McKenzie, who is hashtag sword bay. Like he's a sexy salt and pepper Scotsman who swings swords all day. Like, <laughs> I mean, you really don't need much more of a character description to know hot dude alert. So um, they kind of get together. He is a duke by default because he finds out his secret father that he's never met was actually a duke. So lots of intrigue and it's definitely slow burn. There are a few smutty bits, but definitely not a lot of smutty bits. Another one that is lightly smutty is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. A lot of people think it's very smutty because it's definitely, definitely a romance and it kind of swept a romance book too a few years ago. But you know what? There's only like one sex scene towards the end of this. There are some other scenes that are frankly PG-13 rated, like, you know, like, they like dry hump a couple times, but I mean, if, if dry hump, they're all their clothes are on. So, you know, as far as smut goes, if it's PG-13, I'm, I'm going to count it as lightly smutty. <laughs> this is about Lucy and Joshua. They are rivals. They are working at the same company and they kind of both have the same job. So they're rivals, they're enemies. They turn into lovers later on, but it's perfect if you love like witty banter and bickering and then people kind of becoming friends and then becoming into lovers and feisty women and grumpy dudes. Like all of that, if that seems like fun to you, then you're gonna love this. Again, lightly smutty. I would say the vast majority of the smutty bits in here are like PG-13. There is like one R-rated scene, but one. So definitely on the light side of smut. Okay, let's kick things up a notch and get into moderately smutty books. So moderately smutty is hard to define because what makes something very smutty or lightly smutty, I'm trying to find that middle ground where it probably has several smutty scenes, but it's not 
so many smutty scenes that I feel like it's a significant part of the story. That makes any sense to you. It's more story than smut, but definitely a fair amount of smut. First recommendation is A Night to Surrender by Tessa Dare. From the cover, you can tell it's historical fiction. It's Tessa Dare, she's McQueen. This is the beginning of the Spindle Cove series, which is probably one of her most beloved series. This is Victor and Susanna. They kind of have a um, antagonistic, I'd say, relationship. And by that, I mean uh, Victor's kind of an asshole and Susanna doesn't put up with it. But as throughout the course of the story, he is kind of, you know, tamed, so to speak, by Susanna. And they definitely do have very smutty scenes when they do have smutty scenes. However, I think the vast majority of the story is not smut. So, yes, there are several scenes of smutty delights, and they're very excellent smutty delights. You would like them. But <laughs> the vast majority of the story is them and this like quirky little town called Spindle Cove. So there's a lot of world building here, there's a lot of uh, character building, the relationship and drama and comedy it is a rom-com, so it works for a lot of different reasons, but yes, definitely kicking things up a notch smut-wise. I know when the cover looks very smutty, but surprisingly, I'm gonna put this in the medium smutty category, and that is Stripped by Zoe Castile. This is essentially Magic Mike fan fiction. It's about Robin and Fallon. Fallon is a exotic dancer, and Robin uh, meets him, and they kind of have this flirtation, and then she finds out, oh my gosh, you're the stripper at my friend's bachelorette party. <laughs> So, meet cute. And then what progresses is their relationship. And it's definitely, you know, it has the Magic Mike influence here. Learning to be in a relationship with someone whose job is, you know, in the sex industry. So, there's drama there. Regardless of all the stripping and that atmosphere, Robin and Fallon really don't get together until about 50% of the way through the book. So it is a little bit of a slow burn. Like, they both kind of have to get their shit together in a lot of different ways. But as soon as they get their shit together, like, they're a couple I really rooted for. So <laughs> I did enjoy this. And, you know, regardless of the, the, you know, the industry this book takes place in, there's not so many very smutty scenes. There are several. And a lot of it is just basically, like, every you know, somewhat smutty romance movie that you've ever seen in one book. Like, they do have, okay, sorry, slight spoiler. Do you remember the movie Fear <laughs> with Mark Wahlberg and uh, Reese Witherspoon on the roller coaster? That scene? There's kind of a similar incident in this book. <laughs> so it's basically like just tropey and like all of those little things that you've seen like throughout your life and you're just like, oh, this is my sexual awakening. It's all in this book. So <laughs> definitely fun. I do recommend definitely medium smutty. It could have been smuttier considering the industry it's in. Regardless of the title of this, it's actually medium smutty. And that is the book Smut by Karina Halley. Karina Halley is one of my favorite authors in the romance genre, but she's not really an author I hear anyone talking about very often, but her books are usually super smutty. Like, so in comparison to her other books, this one is like medium smutty. <laughs> this is about Blake and Amanda. They are two um, students and they have to work together on this project. And they decide they're gonna write a book together because they actually do write really well together even though they're like enemies. And they realize, hey, you know what's the top selling genre in the world? Smutty romance. So they get together to write smutty romances. And you know, if you're sitting around all day with a person you find attractive, even though you dislike them and you're writing smut, one thing leads to another. <laughs> Fair warning, do put in the effort with this one because I think like the beginning part of this book, I wasn't sold on the characters. Like they're kind of hot mess characters. They're students, so they're they're like hot mess express. Um, <laughs> no one is like that cool when they're 22 years old. They're always a mess. So it does take some time to like really get into their relationship but once they like get their shit together i genuinely enjoyed their relationship so this book kind of did turn itself around at first i didn't like it but the, by the end i really really loved it and the smut in here is very explicit i mean it's a book called smut 
that should be a given, but just in case it wasn't, like the sex in here is very explicit. However, most of the book is not smutty scenes, regardless of the title. So definitely medium smutty. There is like some good smut in it, but you know, not as, not every chapter. So medium smutty, but very fun. All right, kicking it up one more notch. These are the very smutty books. I haven't had a paranormal romance on this list yet, so let's go with Night Embrace by Sherilyn Kenyon. Really, pretty much anything in the Dark Hunter series is pretty smutty. There, it's, a, it's a smutty series, let's just put it out there. But I picked Night Embrace because it's particularly smutty. <laughs> like, a lot. Like, I can't even get into it because I don't want to like give away any plot points, but it is about um, basically Artemis collects these warriors over time and she imbues them with her power but somehow they're vampires just go with it like i know it doesn't make sense but it's smutty vampires like it doesn't really need to make sense so yes, you have like greek gods and smutty vampires and then we're following talon who is kind of like a celtic like war hero from like celtic times so you're like okay <laughs> just like picture like a giant celtic warrior in new orleans during mardi gras and you're just like yes please so right there starting off on a good point point. and i'm going to put this in the very smutty category particularly because of one instance in the book i mean they do it like rabbits frankly they're like going at it all the time but one scene in particular was just like i had never seen it before in a smutty book so i was like that is very smutty Talon and his love interest, whose name is Sunshine, I know this is a stupid name, oh well, but um, they do 69 standing up at one point, which I mean, realistically speaking, sounds just unpleasant, but I mean, for smutty vampires, pretty fun, so, um, <laughs> but yeah, just because it's upside down and standing, I'm putting it in the very smutty category, because that is like, you know, pretty sporty to be able to do, I guess. I don't know. It's very smutty. They do it a lot. Another very steamy book is Rock Addiction by Nalini Singh. Nalini Singh is actually known for her paranormal romances, but she does also write contemporaries. This is a smutty rock star story. It's with Molly and Fox. So Fox is the lead singer of like the biggest rock band in the world. And he meets Molly, who is literally a shy librarian. <laughs> It's like rom-com gold. I'm sorry, it is. As so you have uber sexy rock star, shy librarian, and they do it so much. Like, I would say a solid 50% of this is just fucking. <laughs> I mean, there's also, you know, dramatic moments and like relationships and love and, you know, rock star lifestyle. It has other things going on as well. But I think it's definitely more of an erotic romance they're doing it a lot there's like a lot of sex so yeah you know what? i'm gonna say this whole series because there's several novels in it of all the different members of the band so they're all very smutty but this one in particular the very first book of the series i must say it's probably the smuttiest it's very smutty oh my goodness gracious like i think they do it in like chapter two if i'm not mistaken <laughs> so right off the bat they're doing it Last up on this list, I have A Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. This is a very rare gem of super smutty book because the characters do it in chapter one. Chapter one, everybody. They're not long chapters either. <laughs> so I think, I think within like 15 to 20 pages into the book, the characters are already doing it. So from there on, they proceed to do it a lot. Seriously, it's like all the time. It's like, it gets to a point where it's just like, you have to do other things too, you know? But then they don't. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I'm okay with it. This is with Chloe and Bennett. And Bennett is kind of a bastard. He is a, like a CEO at a company and he's a jerk. And Chloe is like his like left-hand woman. And she is also equally as bitchy. So they like just fight with each other. And it's like fight, 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 blah, 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 making out and fucking everywhere. So it's like, it's like hate sex in the beginning, but then like, it's like love sex in the end. So <laughs> it's one of those type of stories. But um, yeah, they do it everywhere. Like everywhere, everywhere. 
surprising places where you're like, oh, you shouldn't do it there. They do it there. <laughs> and as smutty as this book is, it's actually also laugh out loud hysterical. Like, I love this series to bits. It's so smutty. Like, definitely knocking the smut game out of the park, but it's also some of the funniest books I've ever read. Like, I love this whole series. So fun, so delightful. I love all the friendships that they have, and it's just like, ugh, it's like so funny. It's so funny and so sexy at the same time, and I love it. Okay, so that kind of covers the smutty spectrum. I have light, medium, heavy smutty books, so I guess let me know in the comment down below what level of smut do you like the best? Are you like a light smutty reader? Are you a heavy smutty reader? Or are you somewhere in between? Let me know in a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.